All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy video. I, I I had to take a deep sigh on that one, okay? Because I came across a clip on TikTok of our wonderful president, Mr. Joe Biden. All right, this is our beautiful president that the Democrats love so much they can't find not one wrong in this man. Anyway, so look, I found this video, right? And basically. Uh, he was being interviewed by, uh, he's been interviewed, okay? He's been interviewed, and I think it was a CNN, I think. He's been interviewed or whatever, and during this interview, the lady was asking him about, like, you know, about the inflation, about the everything just being so high and how Americans going to be able to afford these things. This is what he had to say about us Americans. This, this is the words that came out of this man's mouth. I just want y'all to know, y'all may need to calm down. You know what I'm saying? You may, you may not want to, you know what I'm saying? If, you, if you're if on your way to work, don't watch this. I promise you, it's going to piss you off, okay? I'm just letting you know. It's going to piss you off. Without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. So when you talk about the economy, of course, it is by far the most important issue for voters. It's also true right now, Mr. President, that voters by a wide margin trust Trump more on the economy. They say that in polls. And part of the reason for that may be the numbers. And, and, and you're aware of many of these, of course. Uh, the cost of buying a home in the United States is double uh, what it was when you look at your monthly costs from before the pandemic. Real income, when you account for inflation, is actually down since you took office. Economic growth last week, far short of expectations. Consumer confidence, maybe no surprise, is near a two-year low. With less than six months to go to Election Day, are you worried that you're running out of time to turn that around? We've already turned it around. Look, you look at the, the Michigan survey. For 65% of the American people think they're in good shape economically. They think the nation's not in good shape, but they're personally in good shape. The polling data has been wrong all along. You know, how, how many you guys do a poll at CNN? How many folks you have to call to get one response? The idea that we're in a, a situation where things are so bad the folks that, I mean, we've created more jobs. We've made, we're in a situation where people have access to good paying jobs. And the last I saw, the combination of the inflation, the, the cost of inflation, all those things, that's really worrisome to people with good reason. That's why I'm working very hard to bring the cost of rentals down, to increase the number of homes that are available. But let me say it this way. When I started this administration, People were saying there's going to be a collapse of the economy. We have the strongest economy in the world. Let me say it again, in the world. Although GDP last week was far short of expectations. Oh, it wasn't. Look, GDP is still growing. Look at the response of the markets. Overwhelmingly positive. Overwhelmingly positive. And one of the reasons why people feel good about it not being as strong as it was before is they believe that the Fed's going to respond. They hope they're going to get a rate cut. Yeah. Well, so, but I mean... No president's had the run we've had in terms of creating jobs and bringing down inflation. It was 9% when I came to office. 9%. But it, look, people have a right to be concerned. Ordinary people, the idea that you, you bounce a check and you get a $30 fee for bouncing the check might change that. You can't charge more than 8 bucks for that. Or your credit card, you know, your late payment, $35. I mean, there's corporate greed going on out there. And it's got to be dealt with. What about, I mean, but there's real pain. I mean, grocery prices are up 30 percent, more than 30 percent uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. And people are spending more on food and groceries than they have at any time, really, in the past 30 years. I mean, that's a real day-to-day -day pain that people no, uh, no, it, feel. No, it, it, it really is. And it's real. But the fact is that if you take a look at what the men, people have, they have the money to spend. It angers them and angers me that you have to spend more. For example, the whole idea of this notion that... I'm sorry. Okay. We're going to finish it, bro. He... <laughs> boy, my blood pressure is boiling, boy. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to finish it out. This is this is crazy. But just, let's, let's just listen to one more time what this man just said. If you take a look at what the men, people have, they have the money to spend. It angers them and angers me that you have to spend more. For example, the whole idea of this notion that, that Senator Casey talked about, shrinkflation. You, you, I think you know, it's on your Same program. Same price for a smaller bottle of yeah. 
right. juice well, or something. For example, Snickers bar, they did a thing, and it's like 20% less for the same price. That's corporate greed. That's corporate greed. And we've got to deal with it, and that's what I'm working on. Bro, the only, the only thing, the only thing I can say that he, I, that he, to, for me, he actually said that was, that, that, that was reasonable. No, it's not what he said. It's just the fact that he actually stayed up through an entire conversation. He actually had a conversation. That, I was surprised. I was shocked. I, I mean, I thought he was going to stutter over his words and all type of stuff. But he actually stayed through an entire conversation. So I have to give you a pause for that. You know what I'm saying? This is a good thing you did since you served as president. But first of all, to say that Americans have, you say we have the, what do you say? We have the money to spend. It angers us and it angers him that we have to spend more. We as Americans have the money to spend <laughs> in God's green earth. <laughs> Boy, like Joe Biden, not everybody is living in a White House like you, brother. You, you feel me? Who, who, who has the money to spend? Who, do, do you not understand that? When, when things are high, when groceries are high, when you got all these things that are high, who has the money to spend? You have gas, high as heck. Gas is almost, I, I just seen that gas was, what, $5 in Vegas? That's crazy. Gas out here where I'm at, Chicago, is $3. Well, no, $4, I'm sorry. $4, that's crazy. People have kids. Pampers, I just looked at some Pampers, that was $28. Who has the money to spend? And then you say it angers you. It, it angers you that we, as Americans, because of you being our president, these things are just rising. These things are just going up. It's just like it's just like no stop to it. it. But it angers you the fact that we have to spend more. Make it make sense, bro. Did I like? Did I listen to that right? Did, like. Do I have to like replay it again? Because I, I don't know if I like heard it correctly. Maybe I didn't hear it correctly, but that's that, that's that's my second time hearing it. it it's nonsense. It, it truly is nonsense. And this is the man that the Democrats want so bad to be in office. This is this is the man they they honor. This is the man they feel like it's so much better than Trump. They say that Trump is guilty. They say that this man, Joe Biden, does nothing wrong. He is the best president we had since Obama. What type of nonsense is you people thinking? Like, like seriously, this man, Joe Biden, is. I don't even think he believes the words that comes out of his mouth. I, I, I truly don't. I don't think he sit there and actually think about the things that comes out of his mouth. T for real. We're talking about inflation. We're talking about groceries. Man. Are you Like, what? Americans have the money to spend? What? Like, what? Who are you? What American are you talking to? Not everybody is a Bill Gates. Not everybody is a freaking what? What's the um a uh, Zoe Webber, whatever his name is? Like not everybody is these people that that's rich. Like not everybody is an Elon Musk. You know, it's the regular people out here who works regular nine to five jobs, and you talking about we have the money to spend. I barely have the money for my gas. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? And if I had kids, I would barely have the money for Pampers. They gonna have to wear drawers at one, and I'm gonna have to just teach them along the way on how to be potty trained because I can't afford a freaking Pampers. Twenty eight dollars for an eighteen pack of Pampers? They gonna run out of that next week? Oh, I'm fed up. <laughs> I'm so fed up, bro. But when we had, and I just want, I, I just want people to see this. I, like I said, like me personally, I am not a person that is with the I know I make politic videos, but bro, I, I don't consider me a politician. Don't consider me none of that. I'm just a man that is that just want America to actually be great. Okay, I'm just a man that's actually just just trying to figure out ways that we can actually solve the problem out here in America because we have potential. We're one of the best country. No, we're not one of the. We are the best country. Like seriously, we are the best country. Even with the mistakes that Biden has made in his pre in his presidency or whatever, like in his term. We still yet have the best country, and that's just point blank period. But we need a leader to be led by God so that way this country can be the best country it possibly can be. You feel me? It can go to the, the highest potential if we have a leader that's trying to be after making America great again. You know what I'm saying? And that one leader that I know that was being led by God 
was Trump. And that's not to deride Trump. That's not to say that, oh, Trump did everything perfect. He didn't do everything perfect, but I promise you it was so much better than what Biden is doing. I promise you it was more affordable when he was president, when he was president, it was more affordable. Things was more affordable. things was more reasonable. What gas out here, I think was $2, $2. So let's say for example, Chicago, Indiana is super close. If, if you know that it's super close. Like I think it's a 30, no, it's like a 25 minute drive. If it, to get to Indiana, like it's super close, right? From the city of Chicago. Now, if gas now Trump was in office, gas was two dollars in Chicago, which means that Indiana gas was a dollar, like or probably like no, no, no. Let me let me be realistic. It was two, like probably like let's say two thirty five, two forty eight. So in Chicago, so that means Indiana gas would be like two ten, two twenty around there. That's reasonable gas. That's affordable gas. But to fill up a O five, a two thousand and five Grand Prix, I don't fill enough to tank to a fifty dollar. That, that's crazy. That, that's a, I, Okay, let me get off the video, bro. <laughs> let me get off the video. I love y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my post notifications. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Joe Biden, get some help. You need help. I I, I really hope that these I, I really hope that the Democrats see how how hard it was to live when you was man president. Like how it's still hard. You because you, you're still a president. It, it it pisses me off because it's still it's it's still hard. You you sitting there enjoying your luxury meals while half of us eating noodles. Okay. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.